Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate instructional video on the File Save dialog. In this video, we're going to be talking about what types of things you might want to save or recall, and when you might want to use that operation. In QImage Ultimate, we don't use the file menu for things like open and save with regard to individual images because it's a batch processing software package. You get to your photos by using the folder tree here, going to a folder, and then selecting or double clicking on the image you want to edit, and things like that. The file save and recall dialog is used to save or recall different settings that you might want to use in the program. So let's quickly go through this. We might have a job set up here that we've gone through and changed the size and set up different size prints just the way that we want them. We have the formatting set and now we get a phone call. We have to go to a meeting or we know that we need to come back to this later. But we want to save what we're doing. I want to save these two prints and come back to it later. So I would go up here to File, Save and I already have a bunch of tests in here that, that I do for my job. So let's just click this J button down here because we want to save a job. And that's the job that we were working on. And in the file name, I'll just type AAA. Click Save. Now it asks, would you like to save the entire job or just the settings? Well, I want to save the whole job. It says Job AAA Saved. And now I can exit queue image, come back another day. Let's go over here, clear the queue. Um, let's take a look in the, in the printer driver. Let's even look in here. I have the Epson R1900. And the way that I saved that was a plain paper. So let's mess this up. Let's put something else in here. Let's put photo paper glossy in here. Let's put it on text, uh, or let's put it on draft mode. Click OK. And now, now we've, if we go back into the printer driver, we can see that I've changed these settings from what they were. I'm now on photo paper glossy on draft. I was on plain paper text and image when I saved that. So now let's pretend that it's another day. We've come back in here. Let's go to File, Recall. And again, we can click on Jobs here to only show us the jobs. And here's my AAA that I saved. I can click on that click open. I want to load the whole job, not just the settings. And look what we have. I've got the prints exactly the way that they were set up. Now let's go back into the printer driver. Go to properties. Plain paper, text and image. It even brought back all the print properties that were used at the time that I saved that job. So the job really does save everything. All program parameters, all these options down here, the printer profile, the paper type and everything in the driver so if you want to save everything that you're doing the job is the way to save it now let's say that I had just made some changes to the printer setup and I changed the paper type and I've gone down here and selected a printer profile that I want to use and now I just want to save the printer setup I don't want to save these prints on the page or other things I might go here and use file save click the P button to save a printer setup. Now type AAA here, click Save, and now the printer setup, AAA, has been saved. Now let's say I'll take this one print out just to show you how this works. Now I have one print on the page. Now I say, well I want to load that printer setup. I just want to load the printer setup involved with the plain paper, and text and image quality that I saved. So it would be whatever the the driver settings were in here after I had changed these. When I saved them last, that's what would come back. So I would use File, Recall, click the P button to load a printer setup, and there's my AAA printer setup. Click on that, click Open, and now it's loaded that printer setup exactly as it was when I saved it and it has not affected the page, print sizes, or anything like that. So 
Hopefully that'll help you with what types of things get recalled or saved in QImage Ultimate and when you might use those. Let's just quickly take a look at the other types of things in here. You can save a session which simply saves all the images that you've put in the queue without saving the printer driver options and things like that. A layout you might save when you're creating a custom layout with custom print positions and maybe some floating text and things like that. You might save a layout which gets loaded in the custom size menu on print properties. Uh, printer setup we've already gone over. Option settings that would save QImage Ultimate options like the size of the thumbnails and how they're sorted and things like that. That one is rarely used, but you can use it if you have different types of program setups that you deal with, different machines maybe, or different people using it. Albums, you might want to save an album that uh, you're using, like if I select both of these images and I do Add to Album, the album dialog will come up and it'll show you the pictures that are in the album and you notice that the A is automatically selected here. So that's what that's used for. If you select some images here and you right click and you go down to add to album. So that's actually saving an album which you can recall later using this button up here, open album. So hopefully that will help you with the file save and recall dialog and thanks for watching this instructional video.